What are you showing today? So I'm going to be showing uh, a quick demo of the true scale ranking system, which is used to rank players online in Xbox Live. So if we look over this laptop, the idea behind uh, the ranking system is that uh, in any game we want to have about a 50% probability that any team can win. And that's going to kind of have the most, you know, be the most fun for all the players over time. So uh, what we have here is, uh, on the laptop is some data that was gathered during the, uh, the internal testing of Halo 3. And so uh, what, what the system does is over time it learns the skills of all of the players. Um, so if we look here, uh, this is, you know, after only five games were played by all the players. You can see uh, we have a skill level on the horizontal axis here and the probability that they're going to win a game on the, uh, sorry, skill levels on the vertical axis, the probability that they're going to win a game is on the horizontal axis. So after very few games are played, uh, the skill level has almost no bearing on the outcome of a game. But now if we uh, step ahead in time, after the system has seen more games, uh, we can see that both the people's skill levels are starting to, to be learned by the system and the, uh, the y-axis is getting more spread out. And then as, uh, as more games are played, we can see that regardless of the skill level of the players, the winning probability is usually between 30 and 60 percent. And then finally, after all the games have been learned, you can see that for, you know, regardless of skill level, for almost every player, the winning probability is around 40 to 50 percent, which is exactly what we're doing. Um, so if we go over and look at the uh, Xbox screen now, what we can see is, uh, so there's two things there. So one is that uh, you can see there's about 53,000 players uh, playing Halo online right now. And so that means that there's a lot of games that are being fed into the system at all times. So it's uh, it to be a very efficient algorithm. And uh, if we uh, jump into a game here, we can see in act kind of you can go and look at the stats of all the players that are going to that are going to come into this uh, into this game. So one uh, one further piece is, uh, is the experience of the players. So a player gains an experience point uh, when they're in the top half of their team uh, in any game when the game ends. So in general, a player is going to have about if the system is working well, then the uh, then a player will, will have experienced about half of the number of games that they've played. All right, so if we uh, go take a look at this player, he has no rank games. So here, yeah, experience of 200, played you know, 360 games. It's going to be. Yeah, some players are better. 50 is a very high skill, so there's a lot of experience. So yeah, 25 is a medium skill, so that's uh, about it.